Hey everybody, it's Beth. I grabbed this bunny from the Dollar Tree Plus section. I removed the little bow from it and painted it with sage color chalk paint by Folk Art. To make sure that the floral designs on it were fully covered, the front got three coats, the sides and back just got two. Once that was completely dry, I took some painter's tape and taped off the bunny. And I'm going to paint the bottom just because it's a little scratched up and has some marks on it. So I took antique parchment acrylic paint and gave that two coats. Next, I took the same color again in a fan brush and just lightly brushed all along the edge. And I kind of just blended it in with my finger as I went along. Next, I'm taking these rub-on transfers that I got from Amazon. They're by Timeless Designs. And I just cut off different flowers that I wanted to use. I kind of saw where I wanted one of them to go and held it on the bunny and then traced out where there's going to be excess. So I just cut that excess off. And then just had to remove the backing and then place down the transfer. And then it comes with this little stick. And I just rub along all of the image. And I did it for quite a while just because I wanted to make sure that it was completely on there. But when I start to remove it, I just go really slow. And if there's anything stuck still on the film, then I just give it another quick rub with that little stick and remove the rest of it. And it's really pretty. For the next one, I just place the transfer on there without tracing it and cutting off the excess. And what I do is once I have the transfer, I'll rub it on there around the bunny where there's going to be the excess. I just kind of rub it along the edge just get to kind of break apart the transfer so the rest of that flower will stay intact and then I can just save that for later. Next I take some twine and I put some tacky glue on the end to make that end of it really small and stay together. Because these beads that I'm putting on are the opening's a little small. Once I have a bunch on there, I'm making like a little necklace for the bunny. And I leave some excess hanging down for a couple little tails. So I just tie it in a knot, leaving some hanging down. And then once I have it knotted, I take the twine again, putting the glue on it and putting some more beads on the other end. I'm not quite sure of the size of these, maybe about 10 or 12 millimeters. These came in a multi-pack from Dollar Tree, so I don't know the exact size. After I have all the beads on there, I just make a knot in the end of the twine just to keep those beads into place, and then I cut off the excess. That is it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.